one. This application is similar to the last. Now the walls become widgets. Also, if all one and fall two collide, we set their velocities equal and opposite at the angle of collision. Two, these are the imports. The falls and walls will be based on the widget class, as will be the root class. The list property will be used to hold the ball's velocity. We will use the vector class to write the math equations. The clock will set the frame rates for the two balls. We require the Python program run with the KV version of 1.8.0 or higher. 3. Now the velocity becomes part of the ball class. The initial velocity for the two balls will be set in the KV file. There are four wall widgets in the KV file. There will be six attributes, four representing the walls and two representing the balls. Four. The initial position of the balls is set in the constructor. Five. The collide widget command operates on widgets and checks if there is a collision. Six. There will be a single update function and this will update the balls. First we see if a ball 1 or ball 2 has hit a wall. A for loop checks for the two balls and negates either the x term or y term of the velocity if a ball wall collision was detected. 7. When two balls collide, we will have the situation shown. We can find the collision vector, this being the vector from ball 2 to ball 1. We will set the ball 1 direction same as the collision vector and ball 2 direction as opposite of that. There will be magnitude calculation, so the balls conserve energy and momentum. 8. These calculations are shown here. The term 5 indicates the magnitude of the initial velocity vector. For elastic collisions of balls off a wall or between balls, the direction changes, not the net magnitude, which is fixed at 5. 9. Finally, we update the ball 1 and ball 2 positions. It should be noted that this velocity is the velocity per frame. 10. The app class is created with a title. The clock is set at 60 Hz to call update. 11. In the KV file, we first set five constants which will define the bounding box. 12. The wall will have a bluish color. 13. The balls will be 50 by 50 pixels in size. The canvas after is a circle with the indicated image we downloaded. 14. For the root, the widget size is set, and then we define attributes for ball 1 and ball 2, and 4 for the horizontal and the vertical walls. 15. The background of the root is green. 16. The vertical walls are defined. Both have the same size, but their positions indicate if they form the left of the box or right of the box. 17. The horizontal walls have the same size, but they have different y coordinates. 18. Finally, we have the two balls. Note we set the initial velocity here, as well as the color to apply to the ellipse. 19. Here, we have a bounding box. We have collisions off the walls and also when the two balls touch. Again the motion is much smoother without using the screen capture and the video editing software. Note, there were some approximations made. The widgets are actually rectangular and they do not merely touch but have points in common. More math and programming can get a more realistic bouncing application. 20. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.